Let's play dress up with yes. our friend Ryden. So there's two other outfits we haven't seen yet. Uh, there's the yellow body, which isn't yellow at all, but you get this uh, just from completing all of the VR missions. Um, and what to do? It is messes. Uh, you you use your blade mode meter up less. Okay. Please, sorry. We also have the standard body, which is just the body you start as in the prologue. Just That's like the MGS4 body, but without all the without chin the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And we also have wigs. A brown, <laughs> blue, and blonde wig. Uh, brown is infinite ammo for sub-weapons. Blue is infinite blade mode. Blonde is if you hit any enemy aside from a boss in blade mode, you instantly cut them in half. Nice. Like, it's 100% guaranteed. It's not, like, random chance like with Fox Blade or anything. What happens if you use the wig with Fox Blade? Uh, you're chopping everything in half all the time, basically. Yeah, you are. So this is Revengeance mode. The main thing about Revengeance is parry counters do a shitload more damage now, but so do enemies. Um, yeah, enemies can, like, depending what enemy it is, but they can deplete all of your health in, like, four hits. They also threw a Mastiff at you in, like, the first fight of the game. Yep. Um, okay. See, all this is on Revengeance mode, but, like, we have some other swords we've unlocked. Like, what I've got right now uh, is the Stun Blade. It has a stat you can upgrade that increases the chance that every hit will just instantly stun an enemy so that you can execute them. Nice. But yeah, with... Enemies do an insane amount of damage and attack way more on Revengeance mode, with, you know, the benefit being your parry counters do a ton of damage now. Like, if you fight Sam on Revengeance oh, mode... You just got kicked. Yeah. And it almost... Dang. A third of my health gone. Also, yeah, these guys appear now instead of normal dudes. Yeah, look at my health. Two hits. I'm down to 21% health. Um, but yeah, like, if you fight Sam on Revengeance mode and you manage to get a parry counter on him, you take out about two-thirds of his health with a single hit. Wow. Yeah. Um, so that sword that I was using was, um, the Armor Breaker. Mm -hmm. So, you know, another stat you can upgrade, random chance that you'll just completely destroy all armor on an enemy with a single hit. Does that include bosses? Uh, well, bosses don't have any armor. Okay. Like, well, some no, of them do, but it's well, just like, yeah, but you can't make it like, you, you well, can't actually, make it skip stages, like, which is with, what boss armor is usually for, like, yeah. a step marker. Now we move on to the next stage, right? Okay. Yeah, you can, like, with Mistral, she has those three stages with three areas you fight her in. Like, if you get a parry counter on her and take out like two thirds of her health, she will skip the second area and jump to the third one right away. <laughs> yeah, um. So I figure the uh, the infinite blade mode is great if you really like ripper mode. Oh yeah, you can just have ripper mode on all the time. All the time. Um, the sword I'm using right now is the uh, it's the high frequency long sword, which uh -huh. is one of the slowest swords in the game. I think it's actually the slowest, but when it's fully upgraded, upgraded, it has really good stats all around. Mm -hmm. um, it could technically be the best sword in the game, but really the best sword is Sam's, the Muramasa, because it has the second fastest attack rate, and also uh -huh. all of its other stats are really close to matching the longsword. Nice. Defeat the Blade Wolf, <laughs> who did not realize it was his name. Um, See, so yeah, we're fighting with Sam's sword now. And, like, the string stat's fully upgraded, so I'm chewing through Blade Wolf's health pretty fast already, even on Revengeance mode when he has more health. I'm imagining this is just a symbolic defeat of the boring parts of his DLC. <laughs> we I'm must sorry. carve the yellow blocks out of him. I'm sorry for all the cubes I had to jump on. Yeah, since I've got the blue wig on, I can just have Ripper mode on all the time, basically. Some moves do make you go out of Ripper mode, uh, I mean, you just turn it right back on. Doesn't really matter. Get back here, doggy! Come on, doggy. I, I want to show off a parry counter on you. Like, right here, check out his health. 65%? Zero. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. 
That is so great. Move. See, so yeah, our is kind of like a. It kind of reminds oh. me of Heaven and Hell mode in Devil May Cry, which was like a everything dies in one hit mode, you and enemies. So it's kind of more like a gimmick mode rather than like a higher mode of difficulty. Also, since he has 0% health, he jumps down, he's instantly stunned. <laughs> nice. The end. There's one other sword we got. High okay. frequency wooden sword. That does nothing. It's pretty slow. Uh, it's kind of weird in that you can downgrade the amount of damage it does rather than upgrade it. Why is this sword? Why is this sword? Uh, well, it has another stat where it has a random chance of making enemies disappear when you hit them. So okay. it counts as a non-lethal kill, so you can actually use this sword to do non-lethal runs of stuff. Oh, uh, which is... Since that's the reason it exists, yeah. why you would downgrade the damage. Yeah. I um, see. There's also a DLC version of this sword, only in Japan, uh, that has the spirit of Solid Snake imbued in it, and Snake talks to you through the sword throughout the game. I'm so upset that didn't get localized. It doesn't. It was not localized because Kiefer Sutherland is Snake's voice now, and I'm sure they didn't want to pay him to voice a talking sword. 